everybody, and welcome back, well, welcome back, so, this is a updates video, basically just going over um, how things have been lately, and well, and more importantly, um, plan for upcoming things. So, after Portal Part 1, there was a span of about, I think, three months, something like that, um, without any uploads, and that was because I was working on a big film uh, for the end of Phase 1 of this project. Um, with this film, it's been uh, not that great with production. I feel like I'm making like an actual fucking movie. I'm not. Um, it's just like a thing to end this project. The goal runtime is about an hour and a half, maybe two to three, but I doubt that we're going to get that long of a runtime. I would say at least an hour and a half, and I'm happy. Um, we've had some technical issues. I've had some technical issues while making it because of a certain game that I wanted to have be featured in the film and that's not going to be possible because it's not really working. So after about a bit of time of thinking of what other game to use, I went with uh, something else. A game I have played before on the channel once. <laughs> Well, technically twice, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, twice. I played it twice, um, back then I was not that good at it, uh, but the part that I'll be doing is a specific part that I have done many times, like, in my spare time. Um, when I hop on the Oculus and play some of it, and I've gotten good at it, and I'm not revealing what it is yet, uh, we have to wait for the film to come out. The film was originally, well, not necessarily originally, but it was going to be the 300th video, uh, and it, now it will not be, and I'll get to that in just a minute. As of recording this video, Today is July 31st, the day before the first um, day of the 10th anniversary week. I'll we'll get to that here in a bit. As of right now, there's 298 videos on the channel. This will be 299. And the 300th I will be recording tomorrow at the first FNAF 10th anniversary video that I do. And it may not be what you expect. I set the release date of the film as of right now from the final teaser trailer. I set the release date of August 9th, which is the day after the actual anniversary. Hopefully I can get it done. Um, I haven't fully shot the film. All that's left to shoot is the scene I need the green screen for. Um, a couple little things that I could film at least one of tonight. And um, a big final scene that I haven't even fully written yet. Once I get all that done and I get everything edited, 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 um, then I can, when I go to post it, I have to put in the probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of captions. Uh, maybe not that many. <laughs> Although it depends on how long the film actually ends up being. Because as you know, or if you don't, um, I put in captions for just about every project related video I do, besides Half-Life and Subnautica, because that would be a huge pain in the ass, uh, more so than it already is, period. I only put in captions for like the live action 
thing like when A is in a video or when an interaction between characters happens, that's when I do catch. So, yeah, and for this film, that's literally what the entire film is. Just a bunch of interaction. So, I could have got a lot of captions. And once all the captions are made, I will then set it to premiere, hopefully on the 9th. Phase 2 should begin, like, towards the end of August, depending on when the film actually releases. So, expect Phase 2 to begin near the end of August. And also expect plenty more videos! Um, let's get on to that as well. So for the 10th anniversary, I will be doing a ton of videos for that. However, however, um, I would like to say something. And this might be upsetting to you. It might be upsetting to some of you. I will not be partaking in the events on the 1st or the 3rd. Those being the release of my Pop Goes and the free interactive novel. I will not be doing videos on those. Um, I won't be doing well on the novel simply because I've heard of the interactive novel and I've seen stuff about that. And while I do like the kind of like idea and concept of it, and I think it's really cool. With the whole thing with there being like 25 different endings, I feel like it would be a huge pain in the ass to try to navigate. Um, I'm not sure I would really enjoy doing that, so I'm probably just going to wait until somebody like Rytoast or Johnny Blocks or someone like that makes the video on it. So yeah, however, however, that does not mean that the first and the third will not have videos related to the 10th anniversary. Um, so tomorrow, I will be doing a big Try Not To Laugh video for the 300th YouTube video. Basically, I'm going to sit here, I'm going to sit here, and just watch my Try Not To Laugh videos. Some that are, like, ones that I really enjoy, you know, like 5 a.m. at Freddy's and stuff like that. Probably also some of the hot dog stuff, among many, many other things. I'll probably also include some, like, random uh, compilation things, I don't know, we'll see. I I got to work on the list of that today because I filmed that video tomorrow. The third is going to be a big video where I sit here and listen to a bunch of songs. Uh, maybe by creators like The Living Tombstone, EA Games, JT Music, among some others as well. Uh, there's like over a hundred songs, like a hundred and forty songs, I think, something like that. So that'll be fun. Oh yeah. Um, and, uh, let me say, and this happened just today, so, as of today, July 30th, um, Scott, on the Scott Games Twitter account, has reposted the, um, schedule for the 10th anniversary. Um, I saw this, like, about half an hour ago. So, originally, the... Interview is on the 5th, it is now on the 4th. I'm actually glad, because the 5th is actually when school starts. So, I'll have plenty more time to watch the interview at this point now. The 5th is now going to be the collab announcement, which is good that it's on that day in particular, because it should be like a short little thing, probably. And then the 6th is the Steel Wall announcement, and that everything is the same. So, the 1st, Instead, my pop goes, it's going to be the Chat the Lab video. Uh, the second, I will do the demo for the Joy of Creation remake. I'm excited for that. Um, I may also play the original Joy of Creation stuff in the future, like, alongside more FNAF related games in general. Um, and then, of course, the third is going to be the big songs video. The fourth is the interview. The fifth is the collab, which is Fortnite, question mark. Um, and the sixth is Steel Wool, which I am excited for most. Um, which do I think is it, um, Help 1, 2 DLC or Fall Fest? I'm gonna guess it's probably DLC. That's my guess. 
Um, then the seventh is the demo for Five Laps at Freddy's. I will check out whatever that is. I do believe it's probably a go kart thing. I mean, what else would it really be? And then, of course, the eighth, the best day of all, the actual day of the anniversary, is the release of Into the Pit. I must admit. So, I will be playing Into the Pit on release. Um, however, however, I will not be trying to play through the entire game, much like literally everyone else is probably going to do. <laughs> I'm not going to try to play it all on release, because I don't think that can be possible for me to do. However, especially because um, the 8th is on a Thursday, Thursday. The 8th is on a Thursday, which we're gonna, I'm going to be at school for half the day, so, yeah. The plan is going to be, though, I'm going to sit here and play through Into the Pit for five hours straight and see how much what I get through, although it depends. I may not be able to do five hours. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be a long video, though. You know, five hours for Five Nights and Freddy. Is this where you want to be? Now, I cannot promise that all of these videos will be posted on the day they're recorded. Um, I mean, Into the Pit, definitely not. Uh, cause by the time I were to finish that, it'll be like 8, 9 o'clock, it'll be late. Um, but everything else I'm thinking, probably. With the demos, it might be a little iffy, but... Uh, with everything else, pretty much. I will be doing more FNAF 1, I will be doing more of the games in general, like 1 through 6. I might do FNAF World. I'm thinking about, I'm still debating, I'm kind of iffy on that. We'll see. Um, of course I'll do UCN, which is probably going to have tons of videos. Help Wanted. Um, I will not be playing Help Wanted 1 in VR. I can. I will not. And I will give you a one-worded answer for that. Horror. Scary. Big ass animatronic bear animal creature thing jumping up in my face and screaming in my fucking ears. Hell no thank you. Hell no thank you. No. I purchased Help One One on Steam a while back in preparation for when I get to that. I've also done the same with Security Breach recently as it was on sale recently. Um, because, you know, it's forty dollars. So, yeah. Um, uh, that's good. Help one and two, on the other hand, I will play in VR. Um, it released on the Quest 2 a few months back. I have been very excited to play that in VR. And we'll be doing that, um, hopefully shortly after the anniversary. Now, for other things as well, for fan games, I might, I think I might do, like, some of the old T-Jock alongside other FNAF games um, in the future. I think I might also do something like the Final Night series, and that might be about it. We'll see. One last thing for FNAF-related things. Mm, I keep forgetting how heavy this is. As of my birthday a few months ago, I officially have the Silver Eyes Graphic Novel Trilogy. Oh, yes. Now, I have not read the physical copy myself. I know, I know. But, but, I have listened, I have seen the comic dub on YouTube, so, you know. And even if I hadn't, I know the whole story, I know the whole twist of the fourth closet and all that. I know the weird technicalities of the fourth closet. I know everything about the Silver Eyes. I do not currently have Fright or Tail yet. Hopefully I will in the future. Um, I have not read Fright or Tail. I know, like, all I know about Fright and Tail is just what I've seen from theorists across the YouTube platform. The upcoming video besides that, I will be doing more Half-Life um, soon. I know I haven't done that in a while because I've been having technical I've been having technical issues with the computer. This is really irritating. So about a couple weeks ago, 
I recorded three Half-Life videos. I recorded a total of three Half-Life videos. And they were all on me doing the chapter on a rail. And by the way, let me just say, I totally now understand why we all hate on a rail. I totally understand that now. It is a hell to get through. <laughs> so, it's going to be a bitch to do that again. Um, hopefully I'll go quicker though. That is four. So, in all three of these videos, I didn't realize this until I went to look at one of the recordings of them. While the game audio was fine, there was no mic audio. Which was irritating. And that was the case in all three of them. So I went on OBS to see, I use OBS Studio, at least when I can, when this dumpster of a laptop deems it available. <laughs> um, I went on to OBS to see what the hell was going on. And for some reason, it wasn't picking up my voice. So I spent like, I spent like a few hours trying to tweak a bunch of different settings. I even deleted OBS and reinstalled it, and it did nothing. Nothing. So I chalked it up to the, the I think what it is, is the, the built-in mic that's inside of this laptop has stopped working, which is not that in time, it's not that much of a surprise, because this laptop is five years old, at least, and get this, it's a used laptop. And even better, here's a funny story, here's how you know it's a used laptop. When we first got it, about like a few months after I had this laptop, the keyboard was completely messed up, the keys kept getting stuck, and we couldn't fix it, so we had to replace the whole damn keyboard. That right there is how you know it's used. So, yeah. The mic has stopped working. At least that's what I believe. Um, so, I've tried, try, I've tried finding a new recording software to really have no luck. What I might have to do is use OBS to just record the computer and set up this camera in the corner to record both myself visually and audibly, which is going to be a pain in the ass because I have to sync up both recordings together and it's really irritating, it's hard to do. Um, but it might be something I have to do until I get a new computer, which hopefully will be in the near future. Bandy Cam can kiss my ass. Also, I will be doing more of Subnautica in the near future as well. And I will also be starting, hopefully soon, a brand new series that ties into Logan's character. It's going to be a Minecraft series. Now I know, practically every one of my Minecraft series has failed miserably. Um, End of Earth got discontinued because of technical difficulties. Divine RPG got discontinued because I got behind on so many videos and got too lazy to edit them. Um, yeah. But this series is different because it's going to be tying into the project, therefore I have to see it through the end. Which is good. It's also going to be the longest one I've ever made because there's going to be a ton of mods that I'm going to implement into it, and there's going to be a lot going on. I think it's going to be a really fun series. I've been wanting to start it for a while, but I haven't been able to because um, I've been having technical issues with installing mods. Forge is just fine. It's the mods themselves that won't install. And I think what the problem was, and I'm going to sound really fucking stupid when I say this, Unknowingly, I installed, or I tried to install, both Forge and Fabric mods. Yeah, I kid you not. And so, you know, this dumbass right here has no fucking clue what Fabric is. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell Fabric mods are. So, I didn't think it made any difference. Apparently it makes a huge difference because what I believe was the case is the system got confused because I was trying to install both Forge and Fabric Mods at the same time and it wasn't working so it gave up. But now I'm only going to try to install Forge Mods which should work fine. Also for Phase 2 of the project, I'm very excited for that. Um, it's going to begin with a video that I 
filmed at the lake. One of the main things I'm going to be doing for phase two it's going to be like it's going to be a game that I've been wanting to play for a while um, that I haven't specifically because I've been wanting to save it for um, this project and this film which is going to end phase one was supposed to come out a while ago. Like back in April. Oh. Yeah. It's long over two. Um. But this game that I'm really excited to play. It's a game that. I'm not, I'm not going to reveal what it is. It's a fun little game. It's a very popular game of 2023. It's a game that's also getting a sequel in the fall. See if you can guess what game I'm talking about. Hmm? Um, and then shortly after that game, shortly after I played that game, I will get into the real meat of Phase 2, which is going to be, let's just say, archival footage. I'm very excited to do that. I will also be starting another game, another game that I've also been excited to start for a while. It's a game from 2016, 2017, something like that, and it is an absolute masterpiece of a game, one of the greatest games ever made. It's also a game that's going to change this channel, probably, once I start making videos on it, because oh my god. <laughs> Let's just say that this game I'm talking about is not exactly meant for children. Yeah. Uh, I'll start that game as soon as we hit the mark of 60 project video, which we're already going to be at 30 um, soon. So, yeah. It'll be fun. Um, phase 2 is going to be fun, Phase 3 is going to be probably even better than Phase 2, I'm very excited for that, I think it will be interesting, but that's far off in the future. Uh, there will also be a Phase 4, which I'm not, I haven't like laid out a concrete idea of what Phase 4 is yet, I'm still trying to figure out what that's going to be. Um, and as for upcoming, like, schedule for things, um, I will be recording, like, somewhat, like, normal videos, as well as, like, you know, Half-Life and some knock and stuff like that. I'll be recording, like, video videos during the week, and on the weekends, I will be doing podcast episodes. I know I'm very behind on podcast episodes, I've only done two. There's so many more to do. Um, the next one is going to be Half-Life Part 1, which that video itself is like an hour and a half. So the podcast episode, my guess, is probably going to be like three hours long, maybe more, knowing how much I talk. I'm doing like a podcast episode on a Saturday and one on a Sunday, and then I'll like edit those and get them posted like during the week and stuff like that. So at the same time on the weekends, I'll also be working on animations. And yes, you heard that right animation, because the project is called Piggy Insulin Infection, which is basically like a complete, like a, a complete, a complete retelling of the Piggy storyline. Um, and the project itself, as we've seen it so far, has practically nothing to do with Piggy besides some references to the insulin. Um, that's because this live-action prelude is setting up the actual project, the animated series. I'll start working on animations soon. I've been wanting to start working on animations for a while, and I haven't because I've been so damn focused on this film. So once this film is done, that's when I can finally start working on animations, which will be fun to do. So, uh, yeah. Also, there is a Discord server 
for the project. Um, I'm not sure. Nobody has joined the Discord server that I know of, at least. So there is a link to it in the description of every video I post nowadays. So it's important to me. Um, let me know down in the comments if that link is, for some reason, not working for like any reason, or if it's just that y'all are not joining it. I don't know. Um, I think what I might do soon is I'm gonna make, like, once phase one is over, I think I'm gonna make, like, a Twitter account for the project, which would be a bit, um, probably easier to access, I don't know. I mean, Aiden, um, several months back said something to me that my Twitter account was locked, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what he meant, I don't know what he meant by that. Um... Hopefully I'll figure that out soon. But yeah. But that basically wraps up everything that I have to share. Um, school is going to be starting back up soon. I am going to be a sophomore in high school. Hell yeah. Um, so I'm not sure what video filming is going to be like. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too different than it, um, I wouldn't say has been, but, so, hopefully it won't be, like, crazy amounts of time between videos. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Leave a like if you are excited for the 10th anniversary, and let me down, down in the comments, um, which part of the 10th anniversary you are most excited about. Me personally, as I said earlier, I am excited for the uh, Steel Wall announcement, which I believe is a Help One Two DLC. More for now. Ten years of fun, that's it, Freddy. Um, subscribe. Um, try to help me get to sixty. I'm currently at fifty-six. Um, let's see if we can get sixty. Um, we've also, just as of, like, yesterday, hit the mark of 5,000 views across the entire channel, which is a milestone on this channel, and I love that. Um, when the 10th anniversary stuff starts pumping out on the channel, we're probably gonna get so much more than that, who knows. I mean, both my FNAF videos have over 300 views, so who knows what 10th anniversary is gonna be like. Um, I'm excited for that. Uh, maybe we can beat that FNAF 1 video. Let's make that happen. Um, turn, turn on notifications so that you don't miss any uploads I do regarding the 10th anniversary or the project or, you know, just anything that I do on the channel. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. In another video, whatever it may be, or rather, I should say, I will see you guys next time. I will see you guys tomorrow for a damn good Try Not To Laugh 300th video celebration. So, uh, see you then. Ow! I have not done that outro in a long time. <laughs> There's been so much acting lately. I haven't done this outro in so damn long. I'm so happy to do this again. Bye. See you tomorrow.